Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to share with you the skincare products I've broken up with. These are the products that used to form a core part of my skincare routine, but I no longer reach for anymore. There's a couple of reasons why that's the case. In some instances, I've just found better alternatives. Some cases, there's been reformulations that just didn't deliver quite as well as the original. And of course, price is a factor if I've just found some drugstore dupes for my former holy grails. I want to be totally transparent with you guys in today's video and share with you the reasons why maybe I'm not reaching for these products as much as I did in the past. So sit back, relax, let's talk the skincare products I've broken up with. Now before we get into this video, I would love to know any of your recent skincare breakups. What are those products that you're no longer reaching for and why? Sound off in the comments section below. Whatever your thoughts on the products mentioned in today's video, if you like me, you like the channel and you love the content that we create here on Mad About Skin, don't forget to reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like, which is just a great way of helping our channel to continue to grow. The more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube distributes on its platform. Platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now, I've got quite a lot to get through. I want to keep this a little bit more informal and a bit more chatty in style. So let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. I'm going to start with hand creams. I've been a sucker for a good hand cream for the longest possible time. I saw a new product on the market, I'd buy it. I had so, so many hand creams in my collection. And honestly, it was a little bit wasteful because they all kind of did the same thing. And I never get to the bottom of them before they were either expired or I had to toss them out, which is such a shame. So I thought New Year's resolution for 2022 is let's just minimize the amount of purchasing I do when it comes to hand creams. I really hone in on the ones that I think deliver the best. So gone are all the different drugstore hand creams that I used to reach for and remaining are just these two products. So let's start with this. This is CN hand cream which is available at little stores here in the UK and Europe game-changingly good colloidal oatmeal. It's got some urea in here to soften the skin. It helps that real irritation that sometimes we can get with our hard-working hands. Also hydrates you to the gods, and it's £1.49. Literally, under €2 Euros doesn't get better than that. So this is my daytime hand cream, which I genuinely think delivers more than just a standard moisturiser, because you've got that oatmeal for any irritation and inflammation, and that urea just softens everything down. That price point, like, you can't argue with that. For the evening, I actually reached for this product. This is Tattoo Goo Tattoo Care Lotion. Now, I'm the least likely person in the whole world to get a tattoo. I just, I'm not edgy enough for that. <laughs> but I think this is a product that I bought just based on the ingredients alone. So it's designed to kind of enhance the colour of your tattoo, whether it's a new tattoo or an old inking. But if you read the ingredients, this is, makes the best hand cream ever. So in here, you've got that urea, which again, I said was really important for kind of softening the skin. It softens the proteins within our skin. So if you feel like your hands are a little bit rough, a little bit chapped, urea will be like your holy grail. Because it's also humectant, which retains moisture within itself. You've also got retinol palmitate in here, which is one of the most gentle forms of a vitamin A derivative. You're going to have to invest now for the long haul with a retinol palmitate because you don't get those instant results. But it's got some nice anti-aging benefits too. So many hydrators and humectants and blood is in here and you've got vitamin E which is a powerful antioxidant. You've got some calming and soothing ingredients and all around this is like the perfect nighttime hand cream for some hydration, some anti-aging, some skin softening and protecting the skin with those antioxidants. I love how this applies. It is so, it describes itself as truly breathable which I'm all about because no one wants that really thick and occlusive feel on any moisturizer. This glides onto the skin. It's fragrance free but Actually, it just feels really good. There's no odd gluey scent that you can get with some fragrance-free hand creams. And it's just such a nice product. So, whether you've got a tattoo or not, pick up the Tattoo Goo and use it as your evening hand cream. Your skin and hands will love it. It's made in the US, entirely cruelty-free, as everything mentioned in today's video. I just think it's a really great product. Another thing that I've definitely got rid of in my skincare routine are these things. These are disposable cotton rounds. The ones that you use once, then you toss them up. If you're good, you toss them in the bin. If you're bad, you put them down the toilet, which you absolutely should never do. But these, I think everybody's had these in their skincare routine at one point. They're great for applying toners. They're great for taking off certain cleansers, but they're really, really wasteful. You know, I used to get through a pack of a hundred of these once every like two months. So if you're thinking like 600 a year, that's an awful lot of waste going in landfill. So I explored the market for the best reusable cotton rounds. I used to love the ones by Face Theory, which are really good. But recently I found a product that genuinely means I can toss this and never repurchase those disposable ones. And it's these. These are the Garnier Micellar Reusable Eco Pads. Now, these are designed as meant to be used with the Garnier Micellar Water, which is actually my chosen favourite micellar water. But you can use it with any toners, you can use it with any cleansers, any micellar waters. These 
are fantastic. They are so, so soft and fluffy. And I've, I've used, this is the second pack I've bought because I like to have quite a few on hand so I can wash them all in bulk. But even after like a hundred washes that I'm on my first pack, they're still as soft as they were originally. And they just feel really, really good. They also don't absorb loads of product. So it's less wasteful in terms of the product that you have to apply to really get a nice cleanse. They do a pink side and they do a white side. I don't actually know what the difference is. They're both as soft as each other. So I think you can just use them interchangeably. But they are so, so fluffy and hands down the best reusable cut rounds I've ever discovered. You can get them globally out for two. I think it's like five pounds. And when you think of, you're supposed to get, what's it say? A thousand washes out of these. So if you do, you're saving a whole lot of money versus the disposable ones. Now, one product that I tried so hard not to love. I tried really, really hard not to like because of the price point is this. This is the Promise Keeper Nightly Blemish Treatment by Allies of Skin. Love this product though. It glides onto the skin. It, it minimizes the appearance of any breakouts that you have literally overnight. Your skin, you wake up, your skin is much softer and smoother than before. Your blemishes are reduced. You have less congestion. It's kind of like a miracle working serum. I absolutely love it. It's £125. I don't love that. I just don't love the price point. And I'm also aware, you know, we have a whole cost of living crisis going on at the moment. And I think a lot of people are looking to reduce the cost of their skincare routine without compromising on the results. So I've been scouring around for an alternative to this and I found a really good one in the same like family of brands too. It's this. This is the PSA Liquid liquid clarity. So PSA is owned by Allies of Skin. You can kind of, I'll leave links to this as will all the products mentioned today below. Um, and this works just as well. So in here, you've got BHA, salicylic acid. You've got some willow bark extract in here. You've got some really nice oils that are suitable for congestion prone skin. Different oils work differently on different skin types. And all the ones in here are suitable for oily, acne prone skin. They'll nourish, but they'll actually won't exacerbate the breakouts or congestion you have. It's also got some Bacuchol in here, which is a great, gentle alternative to retinol that I do think works really well, and particularly on acne prone skin. You can use this alongside your additional retinol or retinal, and it just slots beautifully into your evening skincare routine. I get the same results with this for £26 as I do from the Allies of Skin version for £125. So it's a great way of cutting the cost without actually compromising on outcomes, which is why I'm saying goodbye to the Allies of Skin one and hello to the PSA. Such a great product. Now let's talk sunscreens. I probably should have mentioned this alongside the hand cream because I said early on that one of my New Year's resolutions for this year was to just buy less hand cream. You know, use it the ones I've got and work out which are my favourites and actually just invest in them. The same really needs to apply for sunscreens. I bought so many different sunscreens. Every time a new one came out, I put one on order because I wanted to try it and review it for you guys here on the channel. And I just got an overwhelming amount of sunscreen. I've actually given it all away to friends and family because I think, you know, I hate waste. And if someone can get great, you know, sun protection, Protection and not actually have to pay for it. That's all all the better and um, because I wasn't using the products and I've really honed in on the two that I think work best for me and that I'm going to be taking forward this year and it's these two. We've got the Beauty of Joseon Rice Relief Sunscreen. You guys, you knew this was coming. I love, love, love this product. It's calming, it's soothing, it is super lightweight so it's really warm here in the UK at the moment. We're having a heat wave in the UK and across Europe so if you're looking for something that's really lightweight, protects you against the sun, broad spectrum but won't feel you weighed down or make you your skin feel like you're wearing a mask. This is it. I love it. It's a little bit up there in terms of price point versus the amount of product you get, but I'm going to keep buying this time and time again because it just works so, so well. A product that I recently discovered, fell in love with, and kind of is going to replace all the other drugstore sunscreens I've been using is this. This is a Garnier Ombre Solaire Hydra 24 Protect. They do an SPF of 50 and an SPF of 30. The 30 is more lightweight. The 50 obviously gives a high level of protection. So use what would work for you. But this was recently announced in a study by a German lab to be the best of the best sunscreen of 2022 and I totally agree five pounds like that's thinking five pounds for 200 mils of product it's got a great base formulation it's got seven different uv filters truly broad spectrum disappears like that and if you want to see it in action and more information about it i covered it in a recent video which i'll link up there definitely want to check out because this is going to replace all the other drugstore sunscreens in my stash i'm going to be buying this time and time again now a product that pains me to have to break up with is this this is the Lacura vitamin c serum this is a fantastic fantastic ascorbic acid serum that um, was produced by Aldi, which is a big discount superstar here in the UK and Europe. 
I love this. I fangirled about it so, so much. And lots of you guys absolutely adored it. But unfortunately, Aldi and their wisdom decided to discontinue this product. Apparently the margins weren't there for them to make a high enough profit. Well, I thought it was really disappointing because this was hands down my favourite drugstore vitamin C. It had the airtight cap, which I love. You can actually rinse this out and reuse it for your other serums. It's really travel friendly. Had a great formulation with antioxidants, vitamin Cs. Why, why did they have to discontinue this? You know what I mean? This was such, such a great product. So I I've had to let go of this one and look at some other vitamin C's. Um, I'd have loved to have kept it super drugstore and affordable, but I also am mindful of going with what just works best for my skin. And unfortunately, the one that delivers the best benefits against my post-acne hyperpigmentation and inflammation is this, the Allies of Skin 20% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. This, of course, is way more expensive than the Lacura one, which is such a shame. But for me, it was all about the results as hyperpigmentation is my number one skin concern and things that damages my skin confidence. This this works quicker than any other vitamin C I've ever discovered. So I'm letting the Lacura one go and I'm going to continue to use this one, which, you know, just delivers. If you want to try this out, I have got a discount code, which just gives you 20% off, which will bring that price down just a little bit. But it's not going to be for everyone's budget and price point. I covered in a recent video some of my favorite, like, amazing drugstore or mid-market vitamin Cs that could work really well for you. I'll link that up there. Definitely one to check out. If, like me, you're looking for a dupe for that Lacura product, but you don't want to pay allies of skin prices. This is the one I've settled on, but there's so many other great alternatives out there. Check out that video for a little inspiration. Now, finally, let's talk lip balms. Quite recently, I got trapped in what they call the lip balm cycle, where you use a lip balm, it works in the immediate term, but actually you find yourself reapplying it more and more frequently the more you use it. Because most lip balms actually contain drying ingredients such as menthol, eucalyptus, and other peppermint-based derivatives, they actually, the more you use them, the drier your lips end up being. This is why a lot of people kind of get addicted to their lip balms and use them time, time again, much more frequently, like on the hour, every hour, and that's really not the best for our skin. Also, I have very oily and acne prone skin, so if I use the wrong lip balm, it kind of breaks me out around the vermilion border, which is the, the skin between the lip and the rest of the face. So I kind of put aside all the hundreds of different lip balms that I had. Again, gave them away because I'm not a big fan of waste, and I just settled in on these two. So this is the Mad About Skin Nourishing Lip Conditioner, which, you know what? <laughs> I know it's my own product, and I don't want this to be a shameful plug, but of course, I created a product that I think there was a gap in the market for, a lip balm that actually nourishes in the long term rather than just giving short term relief and then causing long term problems. There's nothing in here that's going to strip and dry the lips. You get some instant relief and some long term benefits, which is why I wanted to call it a lip conditioner rather than a lip balm. It's all about investing now for the long term payoff. And um, if you wanted to get your hands on this product, by the way, I'm going to do just for like the next week to kind of celebrate my love affair with this product, a little bit of a buy one, get one free offer. There's a code on the screen there and a link to where you can buy it in the description box. So if you want to buy one, get one free, share one with a friend, keep one for your purse, one for the bathroom. All of it is, use that code and all of the information is in the description box below. I use this during the day and then on an evening I apply a little bit of this. This is the Revolution Lip Sleeping Mask, a perfect dupe for the Laneige Mask. If you want to see like a side-by-side -side comparison, I'll link a, a shorts video I did up there. This, I love the berry flavour, divine. Such a nice, nice product for the evening. I think these two can kind of be used interchangeably but I use this during the day, then this on an evening when I want to feel a little bougie, you know, have that sensorial element to it as well but this again is five pounds so super affordable and both work really well which is why I've kind of moved on from the Laneige from the Cicaplast Levera from all the other lip balms that I used to use and buy time and time again I'm just focused in on those two which I think deliver the best benefit for me so there you have it guys a rundown of some skincare products I've broken up with I'd love to know any of your thoughts and opinions on the products mentioned today and of course any recent skincare breakups you have to sound up in the comment section below wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well love your skin take care Bye.